Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show, and the show is about conversations that matter. People who come on are from all walks of life, sharing their stories of transformation, and we have another amazing um, individual on the line. She is a uh, contributor to a nonprofit organization, and we'll talk about what that is. And she's also the operational manager for the Bamboo Restaurant um, out of Gatineau, Quebec, uh, just uh, a stone's throw from Ottawa, the capital of Canada, Canada in Ontario. So please welcome Janet Sito to the show. How are you doing today, Janet? I'm wonderful. Thanks, Nikki. How are you? Very good, thank you. Uh, so it's um, a pleasure having you with us on the line. And uh, I, I'm hearing great things about you're doing in the community, so I'd love to share that with the audience. So let's talk a little bit about your background leading up to what you're doing today. Well, uh, I'm the eldest of five children, so I know what it's like to be in a busy household. Uh, I myself had three kids in less than three and a half years, so I stayed home and had a daycare. And for the last 10 or 11 years, I've been driving special needs kids on the way to work at our family restaurant full time. And we've been in business for 42 years. So it's, uh, it's a family wow. legacy that my father has passed on to us. And it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a pretty big, big place right now. Fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, what type of restaurant is it and where is it? It's a Chinese food restaurant. And we're in Old Elmer. Now um, they've amalgamated Elmer Hall and Gatineau, and now we are Mega City Gatineau. But we're in Old Elmer, situated between the Gallery of Elmer and the Marina. Okay. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the restaurant. So how long has it been? Uh, I know it's gone on for a number of years. It's a family business. It's a thriving family business. Uh, but um, how has it uh, been working with the community? Because you say that you're uh, involved in nonprofit. So how did that parlay into nonprofit work? Um, I actually do a few other things. Um, I love meeting people, and I think that's from growing up around, uh, surrounded by serving customers my whole life. Uh, Being in the restaurant industry for 42 years and being taught from a very young age um, the importance of customer service and customer relationships. Um, I like to work for myself, so I also have other businesses on the side that I network for. So I'm networking. I love to meet people, find out what they do, uh, find out Mm -hmm. what makes them click, and find out what they need. And I usually like to collaborate and connect them and refer them. So in that scenario, I met an amazing woman who started a nonprofit organization in Ottawa, paying it forward. Okay. So describe the paying it forward. Tell me about that. So the mission of Health and Charity, which is our nonprofit organization, is to partner with businesses in the communities and help them grow by referring them. But while we refer to them, they will give back to the charities in, in, your, in your place. So we are trying to fight donor fatigue because everywhere you go, every grocery store, everywhere, they're always asking for money, money out of your pocket. So instead, we're trying to help you by swapping where you shop, Mm -hmm. help a local business that's one of our partners, and they will donate back for you. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And... So, so how does this help people in the long run in, in terms of, uh, I guess, is it money management or uh, just, you know, boosting their standard of living? Well, we're also in the, in the community helping by creating events. Mm-hmm. So we can also partner with local businesses by promoting them through our events okay. while giving back. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, so uh, this is called Paying It Forward, and uh, it's helping to you know, boost the lives of others in that community. Now, how long have you been in Gatineau? 
Um, we opened this restaurant. Well, we took over this restaurant. It was an existing restaurant. We took over the restaurant in 1975, so 42 years ago. 42 years ago. Wow. Wow. So you must have seen a lot of changes in Gatineau. Am I correct? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. many. Yeah, many changes. Um, but uh, that, is, that is amazing because, you know, we talked, I talked to a lot of entrepreneurs, and, and with, with the, the, the battle cry of the entrepreneur is that they're just, just doing everything they can to sustain themselves, you know, within the first five years. I mean, the first five years, uh, you may see some growth, but not a whole lot. You're just kind of breaking even. Uh, you're just making it work. And then finally, uh, you can, you know, the, you can sweat less, you know what I mean, and, and start to enjoy the, the fruit of your labor. So um, what, what would you offer as encouragement for people who are getting into business for themselves, knowing what you have learned, you know, growing up in, in a business with your family? What are some of the values that you would share with people who are entrepreneurs? Oh, the number one thing would be providing quality. Mm-hmm. Quality service, quality products. Okay, so we, we have a small buffet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we've had it for many, 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 I don't even know how, I can't even count. But when all those big buffet houses exploded, and not many of them are around anymore, you can't keep two, 300 items fresh. We keep our buffet mm-hmm. low and we're always replenishing. So when something right. is getting low, we'll, so it's always fresh. And we won't start the buffet until the first customer walks in so that it's not sitting there for half an hour until someone walks in. Yes, yes. And, that, yeah, so, okay, so quality, definitely uh, being mindful of, you know, special um, limitations and, and also uh, being, you know, a, a thing one step ahead, making sure that they, the customers are satisfied. What other yeah. things would you offer for someone to have longevity like you've had in your business? Being consistent. Um, and mm. we, so I love to go out and talk to the customers, find out, find out what they're doing in their lives, the regular customers that come in. You know, customer mm-hmm. service, being able to, to remember what you spoke about the last time they were in or inquiring about something that they, they have going in their lives and yeah. maybe having their beer that they drink all the time ready as they sit down. You know, it's all about connecting and building relationships. It's so important to continue building relationships over the years. And people keep coming back. They move away, they come and visit, and they'll walk out with five dozen egg rolls to take home and free. Mm-hmm. It's such a wonderful feeling that, you know, you're, you're, you're providing that kind of service that people will come back. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Oh, wow. Uh, this is uh, amazing. So, um, so where you are, you're located in Gatineau. Can you give us the specific address? Because yes. I can't wait to come down and to meet you in Ottawa for uh, the live interview at the Heart and Crown, September 20th. So if you're in the Ottawa area, you got to come out and meet Janet. Uh, but also, I'll invite you to come and have a lunch with me uh, the very next day at the Bamboo Restaurant in uh, Gatineau. So tell us where that is. Okay. We are situated at 87 Rue Principal which is right on the main Elmer Road, the main street. Mm-hmm. We're about three and a half blocks past the Gallery d'Elmer. Okay. On the right-hand Excellent. side. Excellent. Excellent. All righty. So uh, really looking forward to meeting you, Janet. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your pearls of wisdom about, you know, just, just uh, being um, a business owner and some of the values in, in having a long-lasting business. Uh, like you've shared, and also uh, the, the great things that you're doing to support the community uh, with your nonprofit efforts. So uh, is there any way that we can uh, take a look at the restaurant online? Uh, is there a website or a phone number that we yes. can have? Yes, our website is thebamboo.ca. Okay, excellent. And do you have a phone number? 819-684-5558. Fantastic. All right, so you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show, and we had a very special guest, Janet Sito, who is uh, the managing 
um, uh, operating manager out of the Bamboo Restaurant in Gatineau, Quebec, and uh, she gave us some great advice about uh, how to be in business and stay in business for a long time, and also about some of the nonprofit uh, work she's doing. So, Janet, thank you very much for your time, and look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you so much for having me. It's been it's been amazing. Awesome. Thank you, Janet. Take care. Bye bye. Thank now. you.